Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Three squares are constructed on the three sides of an equilateral triangle. Each square has a side length equal to one. A circle is circumscribed about these three squares. The question is what is the radius of the circle? I thank Royce for the suggestion. This problem comes from the 2021 Colin Doyle Mathematics Competition in Australia. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Here's one way to solve the problem. Each of the squares has a side that's a chord of the circle. Construct the perpendicular bisector of each of the chords. This will divide each side of the square into segments equal to 0.5. Next, the perpendicular bisector of a chord of a circle will pass through the center of the circle. Therefore, the point where the three perpendicular bisectors intersect will be the center of the circle. Now, let's zoom in on the equilateral triangle. The equilateral triangle is divided into six congruent triangles. Each of these triangles will be a right angle triangle and their angles will be equal to 30 degrees and 60 degrees and the longer leg of this triangle will be equal to 0.5 and that's opposite the 60 degree angle. Therefore, we can calculate the length of the shorter leg. It will be equal to 0.5 divided by the square root of three. Now let's zoom back out. Let's construct the following right triangle. The shorter leg will be half the side of the square. It'll be equal to 0.5. The longer leg will be 0.5 divided by the square root of three plus one. And the hypotenuse will be the radius of the circle. So let's focus on this right triangle. We can then calculate that r is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the lengths of the legs. So we just need to simplify this formula. We'll expand the square of the binomial and then simplify, and then we'll group terms and take the square root. So r is equal to the square root of the quantity four divided by three plus one divided by the square root of three. And that's approximately equal to 1.382. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.